In this tutorial, we'll be reviewing Western Alliance Savings Account. So let's get started. Western Alliance Bank Savings Account come in two flavors, the traditional version offered directly by the bank and the powered by Raisin account available through the Raisin platform. Each has its own set of pros and cons, so let's break it down. Now let's talk about the traditional one first. So I'm gonna write it down. Traditional one, so the normal one. All right, let's go ahead and look over the pros first. So pros right there. Uh, first one is that there is no monthly fees. Now this is a big plus, especially for low balance accounts. So no monthly fees. A second one is branch access. If you prefer in-person banking, Western Alliance has a network of branches. So there's a good branch access. The next thing is 24 seven online and mobile banking. You can manage your account conveniently from anywhere. So 24 seven online banking. All right, then that's it for the pros. Let's go ahead and look over the cons. So I'm gonna write cons. The first one is low APY. The standard APY offered by Western Alliance is pretty average compared to the other savings accounts. So low APY. The next one is minimum opening deposit. You'll need at least $25 to open an account. So at least $25 to open account. So that is it for the traditional one. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the Western Alliance Bank Savings Account, which is powered by Raisin. So powered by Raisin. Let's go ahead and look at this one. Now let's look at the pros first. The first one is high APY. This online only account boasts a very competitive APY currently at 5.1%, significantly higher than the national average. So 5.21% APY. Now let's look at the second one, which is low minimum balance. Only $1 is required to keep the account open. So only $1 minimum. Then the last one is FDIC insured. Your deposits are saved up to applicable limits. So FDIC insured. That's it for the pros. Let's go ahead and look over the cons now. The first one is online only. There is no branch access for in-person transactions. So that's the first one, online only. The second one is limited features. You can only deposit and withdraw funds via ACH transfers to from an external bank account. No check or debit cards are available. So limited features. The last one is management through Raisin. This means potentially relying on Raisin's customer service, which some reviewers have found less than stellar. So um, the customer service isn't that good. Customer service is not that good. All right. So, all right, guys, we have now reviewed both versions of Western Alliance Bank Savings Account, and that'll be it for the video, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace out.